Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the iPhone 10. Now this is the one everybody been waiting for, so let's get right into it. First things first, let's run through the specs, and we'll start off with the most important spec, the price. Now this phone comes in two different versions, you got 64 gigs and 256 gigs, both of them are going to run you over a thousand bucks. Now y'all know what I'm going to say next. The price is too goddamn high. Now lately I've been reviewing a lot of Android phones and I've been saying a thousand bucks, but that's 850 plus tax, 940, 950, and we just rounded off to a thousand. These phones are legit a thousand bucks. So the 64 gig version, that's 999 plus tax, and the 256 gig version, that's 1,149 bucks plus tax. So you gotta pay to play. Now the phone comes in two different colors. You got space gray and you got silver. You get a 5.8 inch OLED display with a resolution of 1125 by 2436. Now that's 458 for the PPI Patrol. The phone is IP67, dust and water resistant, and it features scratch resistant glass on the front and on the back. Now the phone ships with iOS 11.1 fresh out of the box. Now you got the Apple A11 Bionic chipset with the Apple GPU. You get three gigs of RAM on both versions. And for the camera setup on the rear, you got dual 12 megapixel cameras. One is F1.8, the other one is F2.4. And on the front, you got a seven megapixel camera, that's F2.2. Both of them feature portrait mode. Now you got a non-removable 2,716 milliamp battery that features fast charge. So you charge it for 30 minutes, you get 50% battery. Now the phone features face ID and my favorite feature and emojis. That is no home button and no headphone jack, so it's a little learning curve, so let's see if we could deal with that. Here we go, iPhone 10, or iPhone X, however you wanna call it. Nice white box, y'all know I like a nice white box, giggity. Shout out to white shoes up in the cut, here we go. Okay, so inside, now this looks like your usual Apple presentation. Of course you get your usual books and shit, your Apple Troll stickers, anybody that you know that got a Galaxy Note 8, you know what to do. Here's your phone. This is going to be your charging brick. Your headphone jack. Uh, your headphone uh, USB. Uh, not USB. I'm so used to Android phones. Your lightning adapter headphones. And they do sound pretty good. Here's your lightning adapter. Let's see. Um, where's that little dongle at? Oh, here's your dongle. Alright, so we'll leave all of that. We'll try to keep this Xerxes proof. Now for the phone. Ra, one more. Ra. Fresh out of the box, I gotta say it, y'all. It feels so good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. Now I wasn't too big on this new shape camera. I like it. I normally like the camera when it's uh, horizontal instead of vertical, but it's probably gonna grow on me. It looks beautiful, oh, I gotta say that. You got your stainless steel sides, <laughs> fall back, Zerks. Let's see on the bottom, here's your speaker grills, lightning adapter. Now this does feature dual speakers. So you got speaker at the bottom, speaker at the top. On one side, here's your vibrate on and off switch, volume up and down, here's your power button, here's your SIM tray. So let's power this on and see if we got any juice. Apple logo, here's your front facing camera, your face ID, uh, infrared camera, dual 12 megapixel cameras on the back, little iPhone branding, nothing crazy. All right, so while this is booting up, let's do a quick size comparison. Here's your iPhone 8. <laughs> I know, iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, 7 Plus. iPhone 8. It's a little bit smaller. Oh, that display looks nice, though. Now, here's your iPhone 8 Plus. I was going to say iPhone 7S. I've been saying that all week trolling. All right, so here's your iPhone 7S Plus and your iPhone 10. Size-wise, iPhone 8 is a lot bigger and a lot wider. But it's crazy that the, the, the display on the uh, iPhone 8, 8 Plus, iPhone 8 Plus, is actually smaller than the display on the iPhone 10. But the phone is a lot bigger. So now this is what you got to factor into your purchase decision. Are you going to miss that home button? Are you willing to accept the learning curve? Now, I'm not going to make a big deal about not having a home button because everybody knows I'm a big Galaxy Note fan. And y'all remember, once they removed the home button, everybody was crying. 
but you just get used to it after a week and you don't even miss it anymore. All right, so this is the gold color. Only two color choices on this one. It is what it is. All right, so let me pause the video real quick. I'll drop some of my information in and then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes and I gotta be honest with y'all, I am definitely feeling this phone. Now, is this worth a thousand bucks? And the answer is F-O-H, hell no. Now, I already said this before, I'm not co-signing on no $1,000 phones unless they literally do everything. And right now, there's no phone on the market that can check all of those boxes. And in this day and age, there's plenty of phones that you could get for half the price that can basically do everything that the iPhone can do, and some of them can do more. Now, I understand you got to pay to play, so it is what it is. Now, with that being said, if you like iOS and you like iPhones and you invested in the whole Apple ecosystem, then you're going to love this phone. Now, I would usually start off with everything that I don't like, but I'm going to save that until I do the full review because when you're reviewing Android phones and you're reviewing iPhones, you got to approach them differently. Now, people that are used to Android phones, we got stuff like expandable memory, NFC, split screen multitasking, full customization, always on displays. A lot of those features never been on iPhones, so we can't really complain about those. So I'm going to save that stuff. Let's start off with everything that I do like. Number one, wireless charge. You see for yourself. Wireless charge on deck. Now, Android users, we had that feature for years, but that's a go. I don't need that. Now, now that Apple has it, you're going to see wireless charges popping up all over the place. I already seen them in this restaurant in JFK. Wireless charges built into the table. So that's a nice feature to have. Next, build quality. This is the definition of a premium feeling phone. Now y'all heard me complain about the LG V30. Y'all know I like glass back phones, but some of the glass back phones are too light and it gives them a cheapy feel. This phone is a glass back phone, but it's super heavy. It's probably twice the weight of the LG V30, but in a good way. All right, when you spend a thousand bucks on something, you don't want it to feel too feather light. Now, keep in mind, this is just my opinion. You don't want it to feel too cheapy. You want it to have a little weight to it. This one has the stainless steel sides, glass back, and it's going to feel so good in your hands. Ladies, you know the deal. Next, now let's talk about the face unlock. Now, that was my biggest concern with getting this new iPhone is how long is it going to take me to get used to not having a home button, not having a fingerprint sensor, the learning curve. Well, I got to be honest with y'all, just after using this for a few minutes, the learning curve, you'll get used to it. And for a thousand bucks, you better get used to it. All right. So when you pick up your phone, you hit that power button. Now you see, I'm going to look at it. Now I'm from behind the camera. Let me see if I can do this from behind the camera. I'm going to look at the phone and swipe. Now, here's the thing. Android users, you're going to have to get a little bit <laughs> used to swiping all the way from the bottom. Now, you know when you had your Android phone, you swipe anywhere and unlock the screen. With this one, you're going to have to swipe it from the bottom. All right, so once you get used to swiping from the bottom of the display, not a problem. Just got to look at it, and it opens up pretty fast. Now, keep in mind, I'm doing this from behind the camera. Now, on a side note, I wanted to test the facial unlock and see how good it is, and it's really good. It works when I got a hat on, with a hat off, sunglasses on, sunglasses off, the lights on, the lights totally off in complete darkness. So you're not going to have a problem with that. Now, let's go through some of the new features. Now, since you don't have a home button, you're going to have to get used to some of these new gestures. Now, your uh, your, <laughs> your control panel, I'm, I, I keep getting used to saying Android stuff. Let me, get, let me switch over to Apple mode, your control center. All right, so now instead of coming from the bottom, you're coming from the top corner. It does have screen recording. All right, that's an iOS 11 update feature. You got all your toggles right there on deck. Now, since there's no home button, say you open up an app. Let's uh, see where we could open that safe. We open up Maps. If you want to exit out, you just swipe up. Now, say open up Maps and I want to go to the next app. I can swipe from the bottom and go switch over to my next, my next uh, recently used app. And I can just keep switching over to all the stuff I was looking at. Then you swipe up. Now, say I go into this app, swipe up and hold, and now I got a quick look at all of my open apps. Now, keep in mind, I'm, this is my first couple of minutes using this, so I got to get used to it. But let me show you what else I found so far. Now, since there's no home button, how do you do a screenshot? Similar to Android, you hit the power button, volume up. 
There's your screenshot. Now, when you want to use Siri, you could just say, hey, Siri, if you got that set up, or you can just hold down the power button and that'll activate your Siri. Let's, let, let, let's try that again. Who am I? You're Flossie, but you asked me to call you Captain Kirk. Bingo. All right. <laughs> anyway. All right. So that's that. What else? Now, when you want to turn off the phone, you got your power, uh, your power button, volume up or volume down. Either one. If you hold that combo, power, uh, power button and volume up or power button and volume down, that's how you get to that menu to turn off your phone. And that's pretty much it for the gestures. Swipe down. There's all your notifications. Now, from your lock screen, I, if you get a notification while your phone is on the table, it'll just come up. It's not going to show you, like, say you get a text message. It's not going to show you what the text message said until you actually look at it. So once you pick up the phone, if there was a message, it would have been just, you know, just a generic, you got a text message from Dave. Once you look at it, then it'll show you what Dave is actually saying. I right, shout out to Dave. Now, from the home screen, if you swipe over once, here goes all your widgets. All right, so you got a bunch of widgets on deck. Swipe over, swipe over again. That'll op open up your camera. Now, from the home screen again, you got your two quick toggles. So if you hold down, that'll take you to your camera too. Just press it. And for flashlight, just press the button and that'll activate your flashlight. Flashlight on deck. All right, so like I said, the learning curve on this, it's not too bad. You just got to play with it. Let me, uh, <laughs> now I'm from behind the camera, so it's hard to get the face unlocked. That's one thing I will say. You really got to look at it. That's kind of good and bad at some ways. Now, y'all seen the V30. It pretty much opens immediately. This one, you got to look at it. So no accidental unlocks. Now, let's take it over to camera real quick. Now, I'll show y'all. This camera on this phone, I, I got to get, oh, that was a screenshot. I was like, what am I doing? All right, check this out. Matter of fact, look at this picture real quick. This is a point and shoot portrait mode shot. This is beautiful. Between the Huawei, the Galaxy, the Pixel, and this phone, portrait mode done came a long way. I, I see, I just swiped out. All right, so let's activate the camera real quick. Now, from your camera, let's go to let's go to the modes real quick. You got time lapse, slow motion, video, photo, portrait, square and panoramic shots. So basically nothing new here except for your portrait mode. Now you got different lighting scenes. So you got natural light, studio light, contour light, stage light, which is pretty dope, and stage light mono, black and white status. And like I said, the pictures on this, that was a screenshot. <laughs> it keeps trolling me. The pictures came out beautiful. Here's another one I did. Just a quick point and shoot, portrait mode status. Now I'll do some more test shots later. Let's see. Uh, you just got to get used to swiping. Now, that's my biggest thing right now. I got to get used to swiping. In a couple of weeks, you're going to see a whole bunch of douchebags at Starbucks. Everybody's be going like this, swiping, swiping all over the place. A lot of thumb action. You got to get used to it. Now, let's check out the speakers real quick. Let me pull up Bike Life. All right, look at the display. Now, that's one thing about the new AMOLED panels. The blacks look blacker than they ever been on any iPhone before. Now, Apple makes some of the best speakers in the game. Beautiful. Now you see I cover the bottom speaker. You still hear it from the top. Cover the top speaker. Still hear it from the bottom. Listen to this. Let's get max volume. These speakers sound excellent. Now let's see if we can get used to this again. Here we go. Now if we want to, let's, let's, let's see how easy this is. Let's swipe apps. All right, there we go. All right, so we just got to get the hang of this. And then swiping up. Little learning curve, it is what it is. Overall, fresh out of the box, I'm definitely feeling this. Like I said, if you're used to having an iPhone, this is just one step up. You're just going to have to get used to the gestures, but you're going to like the facial unlock. Oh, yeah, let me show you my favorite feature so far, too. Let's pull up the anim uh, Animojis. <laughs> that's, one of, that's one of my favorite features. Hold up. All right, so to get to your Animojis, just open up a text message. You're gonna hit that little symbol and go to your Animojis. Now you got 12 to choose from so far. Hopefully they'll update these and add, add some more. Now this looks so cute. <laughs> I know, I gotta keep it real, this is cute. Now, it's a lot of detail in this. It's kind of unbelievable. Look at the cat's eyes. Now I'm gonna close my eyes. I don't know if y'all see that. I'll wink one side. 
Wink the other side. Smile. Little frown. This is so cute. Now, fellas, don't expect me to be sending y'all any emojis anytime soon. This is more for the ladies and more for the kids. I'll show you one I just did. You see, I sent one to my daughter already. Hi, girly. Hi, girly. And uh, look at her response. You mad corny. <laughs> All right, so it is what it is. I basically got this phone pretty much just for that. And it's already worked it. Now, accessories. That's another thing about the iPhones. You know they got more accessories than any phone in the planet. Starting from tomorrow, we going case crazy. Shout out to all my caseologists out there. I got something for everybody. So we're gonna do a bunch of case videos, a bunch of battery charger videos, bunch of wireless chargers, bunch of accessories we got coming down the pike. Now, I'll do the full review in a couple of days. Hit me up in the comments and let me know if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover, but y'all know how I do. I'm gonna rip it apart. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I'll see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock, one to beam up. Enterprise out. Energize. <laughs>